Hello everybody, welcome back to my math channel, MathBar. Let us solve question number 6 from Pearson and Excel A-level exam for Pure Math 1. This exam is taken in October 2023. Paper reference code is WMA11-01. Let me read the statement of this question. In this question, you must show all stages of your working. Solutions relying on calculator technology are not acceptable. The equation 4 into P minus 2x equals 12 plus 15P over x plus p where x is not equals to negative p where p is a constant has two distinct real roots show that 3p square minus 10p minus 80 is greater than 0 actually there are three rules about the discriminant decides the roots are real uh, repeated or they are imaginary let me tell you these three rules so it will help you in other questions of such kind uh, first rule is if the discriminant is for repeated roots, for repeated, the other word he could use for equal, for equal roots, discriminant, I am not writing completely, discriminant is the b square minus 4ac is equals to 0. Number 2, for 2 distinct real roots discriminant is greater than zero and the third rule is for no real roots so these are the three possibilities about the roots no real roots discriminant is less than zero these three rules you have to memorize them got it uh, here we can apply this rule, this one, because discriminant is greater than 0. If you remember the formula for quadratic formula, like x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Actually, this is called the discriminant. If this value under the square root is uh, less than 0, for sure it will be negative and there will be no real roots. Got it? If it is equals to 0, you will get two answers, repeated roots, you can say. And uh, if this discriminant is greater than 0, then you will have two distinct uh, distinct real roots, different answers for x. Got it? So you have to memorize the, these three rules. They are very, very important. So I will start my question from here for the first part. For two distinct roots, distinct real roots discriminant is greater than 0 discriminant is p square minus 4ac should be greater than 0 got it you have to memorize this formula for distinct real roots to figure out what is the b and a and c you have to simplify this equation now let me start that equation to simplify we can write as 4 into p minus 2x equals to 12 plus 15p over x plus p. Now expand the bracket. It will be 4p minus 8x into x plus p. This will multiply over there because it is dividing on the right side. So it will divide the left side. It will multiply the left hand side equals to 12 plus 15p. Now this 4p will multiply both of these numbers. You get the answer as 4p, 4px and 4p will multiply to the other number. It will be 4p square. Now minus 8x will multiply the first number. We get the answer as minus 8x square. And this minus 8x will multiply p. You get the answer as minus 8xp equals to 12 plus 50p. We can simplify these two numbers because they are same. Like terms can be solved together. We can write this number in order like x square will be the first value. We can write as minus 8x square and solving these two give you the answer negative 4xp and uh, plus 4p square and you can bring the other two numbers on the left hand side here. So it will be minus 15p and minus 12 equals to 0. Better you get rid of this negative, so it will work your it will make your work easier. Multiply by negative number, negative one. You get the answer as 8x square plus 4px 
minus because uh, you are multiplying by negative signs will be changed so it will be minus 4 p square and uh, plus 15 p plus 12 is equals to 0 now we got the values for a a is 8 and b is 4 p b is 4 p and c is the constant number the last one it is minus 4 p square plus 15 p plus 12 as I told you earlier for distinct real roots we will apply this formula b square minus 4 ac is greater than 0 plug in these values here b square minus 4 ac is greater than 0 b is 4 p so square will be 16 p square minus 4 a 4 and a will multiply you get the answer as 32 and c I'm writing over here minus 4 p square plus 15 p plus 12 is greater than 0 in the next step just expand the bracket 16 p square right as is minus 32 multiplied negative 4 will make it plus and it will be 128 p square and 15 multiplied 32 will give you negative 480 right negative 480 p negative 32 will multiply by 12 it will give you negative 384 greater than 0 solving these two because they are like terms we can solve them together is 144 144 p square minus 480 p minus 384 is greater than 0 let me go back to the question uh, we want here 3 actually with p square for sure if you divide this number 144 you will get the divisor easily 144 divided by 3 is giving you 48 it means you need to divide every term with 48 divide by 48 you get the result here 3 p square 480 by 48 you get 10 for sure 10 minus 384 divided by 48 is giving you the answer 8 greater than 0 so this is the required result it is as required first part is done of question number 6 Now for the second part, hence using algebra, find the range of possible value of p. Because it is inequality and it is greater than this one, you know that uh, on the left side of left hand side of inequality, the expression is quadratic, and the coefficient of p is positive. It means the quadratic the graph of this quadratic expression will be u shaped. Got it? It depends in quadratic. It depends on a the coefficient of the square value give you the graph graph will be u shaped or n shaped if it is positive it is u shaped if it is negative this value it is n shaped we need to find the critical values then you can easily find the range of possible values of p for second part let me write this inequality over here 3p square minus 10p minus 8 is greater than 0 to find the critical values to find the critical values to find the critical values you have to put this inequality as equation like 3p square minus 10p minus 8 should be equals to 0 it is quadratic there is a rule of this quadratic how to uh, factorize the easiest way just multiply this 3 uh, with 8 you get the result as p square minus 10p minus 24 now it is easily uh, factorized you know for 24 there are two such a pair you should get the middle number uh, how did you get this 24 by multiplying uh, by multiplying 3 you have to remember this rule here you will get two pairs two factors one will be p minus 12 and other will be p plus 2 because if you multiply negative 12 by 2 you are getting negative 24 if you are solving them together you are getting the middle number now the next step because you multiplied here so you have to divide this number as well by 3 got it it is the easiest way to factorize now simplifying this one and move this fraction over there so there will be two pairs one will be minus p minus 4 and other will be 3p plus 2 so you can factorize this one like this p minus 4 and the other one will be 3p plus 2 
So these are two factors and from here you will get the values for p. The other value you can get from here 3p plus 2 equals to 0 and uh, p will be equals to negative 2 over 3. As I told you earlier for inequality here it depends on the coefficient of the square value. If it is positive it will be the u-shaped. Draw a u-shaped graph here like that. Got it? And draw x axis here. Got it? Now negative value for sure because it is uh, greater you will draw here open circles here and there the other side. If there is equal sign you will shade them. Now negative value will be on the left side we know that it is negative 2 over 3 and positive value will be 4 will be written here. Because our function is greater than 0 you will choose the graph above the x axis. If it is greater we choose the graph above the x axis. So this is my solution actually above the x axis is this graph. You will choose such values of p that are under this graph like uh, p values are going this way here. You know on the right side p values are greater than 4 and uh, here p values are going on the left side so p will be less than negative 2 over 3. In such case our solution will be this one p is less than negative 2 over 3 and, or whenever it is greater we write the, our solution as therefore our solution will be p is less than negative 2 over 3 or p is greater than 4. For example if the question is written like this less than then we choose the lower part here and then the other way of writing the values of p will be like this you will write the values like this p values are between minus 2 over 3 uh, to 4 so solution will be this one in this case if the inequality is given less in case of greater inequality will be this way there will be always or hopefully you understand it how to find the range of possible values of p this is second part of question number six. Question number six is done. If you have any question, please write in the comment box. Thank you.